Jonathan Moss from West Yorkshire is our man in the middle. The man on VAR duty is John Brooks. They had planned to wear their new Coral away kit, but there were concerns over the clash with Crystal Palace. Here's a chance for Everton early on, and it was a decent chance too for Gilfie Ziggerton, who may well feel he should have taken it. It's a good ball in that caused problems, flicked into the path off a Palace head to Gilfie Ziggerton, and he normally buries those types of opportunities. Two minutes in, Everton could have been in front. Everton certainly dictating terms here. Seeing more of the ball than the home side. Bernard wins Everton their first corner of the game. Flicked off Martin Kelly and out from behind. Corner is a worked routine. Adam De Ritt, Charleston's effort headed away by Crystal Palace. Blocked inside the six-yard box. Was one that seems straight off the training ground. Approaching the half hour mark. Everton certainly the better of the two teams. Here's Richarlison. Richarlison, too high for Bernard. Now taking on Ward and getting the better of him. Schneidel in, but Luca Dini can hit this. It might break Everton's way here, it does. It's Coleman's effort that's saved. Richarlison left it for Coleman, it was a decent save. Here come Everton again, and headed wide in the end by Calvert Lewin. Getting closer. Luca Dean's effort deflecting here for Coleman. And that was a rather fortunate save by Guaita in the Palace goal, did get himself in the way, and in the end it was Calvert-Lewin who could only head wide. Just got enough on it, didn't he, the Palace keeper? Calvert-Lewin was the uh, man who had the final effort. Challenge between Gomez and MacArthur. Calls here for Max Mayer, who lifts his effort over. Via a deflection, that was a chance for Crystal Palace. MacArthur's ball, it was into the penalty area in the end. And the touch was just enough, wasn't it, to take it over the crossbar, Seamus Coleman. It's a vital touch, that. Here comes the corner. It's a difficult one to deal with there for Jordan Pickford and those defenders in front of him. He's curling wickedly. Deep again, and it was Scott Dan who met it. He was well blocked as well because Dan certainly got his head to it. Curling viciously once more. Andre Gomez cannot continue. Evertonians get their first look at Sean Philippe Gabamin, the 23 year old Ivory Coast international. Half time at Selhurst Park. Everton certainly the better of the two sides, particularly in the opening 35 minutes or so. It's Crystal Palace nil, Everton nil. 
Everton were forced into that change just before the break with Andre Gomez off injured and Jean-Philippe Gabamin onto the field and he stayed out during the half-time interval to warm up a bit more. He's got it out there for Bernard who's teeing up Luca Dean. Bernard again, twisting one way then the other, dinking one in, Calvert-Lewin. Back in it comes and Ziggerton's flicked effort off the line by Van Arnholt. Ziggerton, who missed an opportunity early in the first half, sees this one cleared off the line by Patrick Van Arnholt. <laughs> Morgan Schneidling does not like that decision. Jordan Ayew goes down. Morgan Schneidlin is going to get a yellow card here. Challenge from behind is penalised, and Schneidlin is booked. <laughs> and Tecky's played it in for Ayo. Jordan Ayo's great save there from Jordan Pickford. It's the first real save he's had to make in this game, and he's done it expertly. Ayo was just on side. And Pickford saved with his legs. Doesn't matter how, keep them out. Townsend for Benteke. Mayer's got room outside of him. Benteke, here's Max Mayer now, played in. Mayer's shot again, it's Pickford to the rescue for Everton. And in some style as well. Everton were exposed here. Too much space for the German. And again, Jordan Pickford uses his legs to deny Crystal Palace. Charleston, good control. Played in quickly as well for Ziggerton. Ziggerton gets his shot away. And the keeper was equal to it, low down to his left. Good effort that by Gilpy Ziggerton. He took it quickly. left foot, shot saved. Bernard. Makes here, Richarlison! So close. And snap first time effort from the Brazilian. Curling beyond the Palace keeper, but curling just past that keeper's right-hand post. Well, Dominic Calvert-Lewin is the man making way. It's the introduction of the new boy, the Italian international, the capture from Juventus to the delight of the Evertonians. It's Boys Keen on for his debut for Everton. Townsend. Zahar. Van Arnholt getting inside the penalty area, Van Arnholt putting it across the face of goal and put behind by Luca Dean. It was going wide but he had to make sure there, Luca Dean. Mr Palace have never won an opening day Premier League fixture at home. They have in fact lost the last four. Schneidlin is going off here. It's his second yellow. That challenge has resulted in a second yellow. Tom Davis then is going to come on to replace Guilty Sickerton. It's less than 13 minutes to play. It's the third and final Everton change. Zahar turning Tom Davis and putting one into the penalty area. Zahar again. Gobbled up at the end by Jordan Pickford. Put the threat for a moment there, Wilfred Zahar. That is full time, and for the second successive season, it's goalless here at Selhurst Park. And with ten men for the final quarter of an hour, maybe Everton will look back in due course and say it's not such a bad point after all.
full-time here then, goalless at Selhurst Park. Palace nil, Everton nil.